Well, this is just a quick update on the generator that I'm building. I managed to get a working alternator. It's a newer one, which I got from a junk car that was recently crashed in town. And I got the battery box on the back here, which is just tack welded in each corner, bottom and top. And I made a battery hold down, which is pretty much just a bent piece of rod that I tap on each side. And then I'll just take a thick piece of rubber and I'll stick it underneath the bottom just to take up that space in there. I got all the generator mounts. Those are all welded down again. And the tensioner for the belt, which I just use a little turnbuckle for that. And it seems like it keeps it down pretty good. Uh, the belts, that's off a snow blower that I found somewhere. And I figured out the wiring for this finally. So it seems like it's all set. The battery right now, if you can see it, it's at 12.98 volts. And when you turn the engine on, it should go right up to 14. Just pull this out. All right. And this Honda doesn't really run that great. I need to rebuild the carburetor. It kind of throbs some, but it should run enough for now. Run good enough at least. Now it's still at 12 volts. And to engage the charging, I just got to hook up this jumper I have here to the positive lead. It's up to about 14. And what's nice is this will charge this battery, and this engine will still stay at a low idle. So you can pretty much fill the tank up, and it'll go for most of the day, really. And the only other thing I think I'm going to invest in is a pulley for the engine. I don't know if you can see it, but it wobbles quite a bit. And then I just got to change the oil in this. And, oh yeah, when you shut the engine off, you do have to take this out, because I don't know if you can hear it, there's a little buzzing noise in there. I don't know what it is, but... And then on the other side, over there between the rails, I'm going to put a receptacle plug with a waterproof shutoff. And I'm going to have some studs coming out that are live for an inverter. And I'm going to see if I can't make a sheet metal cover for this whole entire thing. Because it would keep it out of the weather. Instead of a wood one, sheet metal would be a bit better. Because it, you know, you could paint over it and it wouldn't rot away if you paint it and whatnot. But anyways, this is just a quick update on how I'm going on this. So as I get farther, I'll keep posting up some videos.